Hey guys, so God has many, many plans for his children, but he has two specific things that he has for you guys, okay? I believe that this message is going to bless you, it's going to encourage you, and definitely put some things in perspective uh, for you, so stick around. So today I was reading my one-year Bible, and um, it breaks it down in days, so today's January 20th. And so, you know, it's out of Genesis, right? So it's talking about the story of Joseph. And we've talked about the story of Joseph many, many times on this channel. There's just so much in that story that we can all learn from, right? But there's this part I've never spoken about. And um, it's, you know, it's out of, Gener uh, it's out of Genesis 41 um, verses 51, right? It says, Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh and said, it is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household. <laughs> the second son he named Ephraim and said, It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. Okay, so those are the two things that God has for you guys. And I'm so excited to share because it's just like so epic. It's so epic. Okay, so, you know, do we need to go through the story of Joseph? We know the story of Joseph. He, you know, he had a dream. He, his uh, siblings threw him in a pit. Uh, he found himself in prison at one point. Um, and then next thing you know, he, he was made ruler over the land. Okay, so that's the short of the long story. All right. And um, so you best believe after all the pain and after all the suffering, God has two things for his children. A lot of you guys have the Joseph anointing. A lot of you guys feel like you're, you've been a Joseph. You're, like, your, your journey and your story is so similar to, to Joseph's story, okay? So you best believe that these two things is also for you, okay? God is going to make you forget all your troubles, and he is going to make you fruitful in the land of your suffering, Okay, so the same place that you suffered is the same place God is going to make you fruitful. I'm telling you, God is just <laughs> amazing, if you may. Um, a few months back, I did a message that titled Tears of Joy slash Forgetfulness. Tears of Joy slash Forgetfulness. And I'm going to post that video below, right? Listen. God is so graceful. He's so graceful and he's so merciful that he would allow his children to go through the necessary, the necessary training that, uh, that was needed. Okay. He needed you to be pruned. He needed you to, to, to be consecrated. He needed you to go through the fire. Okay. That's how diamonds are born if you may right he needed you to go through the separation and the isolation and the wilderness and the trials and the tribulation if you may okay some of you guys felt like you were in the fire you were in the lion's den just like the three hebrew boys right but nevertheless that was a necessary journey it was to build your character it was to get you ready for that which you prayed for it was to get you ready for the promise god wasn't going to hand you the promise if your character can't sustain the promise if your character isn't there think about it if the promise is here you're here he's not going to give you the promise because you're not ready for the promise he has to get you here he has to get you ready for the promise okay you thought God was just going to hand it to you? No. Your character needed to get to the place where the promise was. Okay, so that's what that training was. All right. But all of that was so important for your character building. All right. But God is like, I had to allow you to go through all of that. But what I'm going to do for you, friend, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to allow you to forget the pain forget the suffering forget the heartache forget the the anxiety forget the depression forget forget the 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 doubts the overthinking the fear the worries the stress okay i'm going to i'm going to allow you to get to to forget that a few months ago god allowed me i don't know what it was but he told me to go read my diary <laughs> And it was a diary I've had for a long time. And I went back many years, right? And I was reading some things and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I, 
it felt like I was reading somebody else's story, but it was my story. I wrote it, okay? The point is I had gone through some stuff that I had forgotten. Like, I remember I went through it. That's the thing. Like, you, you remember you went through that, but you forgot the pain. Isn't that beautiful where you can go on a journey and you could go through a season or you could go through multiple seasons and multiple years, but God is such a graceful God. He's such a merciful God where he's like, I am going to remove the pain. I am going to remove the trauma. I'm going to remove all of that. You still remember the story, but you don't have the pain. God is a God who heals and he delivers us from things. Okay. So I encourage you to allow God to let you forget. And I've said this before, if you don't want to fully forget, just write it down. Just write it down. And then you'll be able to read it back five years later and be like, oh my gosh, that was my season? Yes, honey, it was your season, but it's no longer your season, okay? So allow God to let you forget. Why am I, you know, as I was taking notes, I was thinking of men in black, men in black right yeah <laughs> i haven't seen that in so long but remember they had this little device that you know after all the adventure and all the stuff people just forgot right <laughs> i don't know that's why it came to mind okay but yeah it's like god will allow you to go on a journey and he will go through you will go through these seasons and then he'll just be like wipe away the trauma wipe away the tears from your eyes just like he did for joseph Okay, he allowed him to forget. He allowed him to forget the the stuff that he went through. All right. Number two thing is God is going to make you fruitful in the land of your suffering. He's going to make you fruitful in the land of your suffering. What does that mean? Okay, like the same place, the same place that you suffered, the same town that you suffered, the same country that you suffered the same city that you suffered, God is going to make you fruitful in that area, okay? That's why when God says, I go to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies, it's it, it's it's part of it, okay? So the, the same place and, and, and all the people who inflicted pain upon you, they will now have to sit and watch you be fruitful. They will now have to sit and watch you be prosperous. They will have to now sit and watch you be favored okay that's why that's why god god don't want to destroy your enemies no 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 mm -mm. that would be way too easy <laughs> destroying your enemies is too easy like no i'm not going to destroy your enemies no i want your enemies to see you prosper i want them to see you fruitful they watched you suffer so why can't they watch you be fruitful mm -mm. no they watch you suffer now they have to watch you be fruitful that's why god is not trying to move you out from that place he ain't trying to move you out from that country he wants you to remain there because they need to see you be fruitful in the land of your suffering i don't make this up <laughs> it's here it's all here <laughs> okay you need to be fruitful you need to be seen. The spotlight needs to be on you, says the Lord, okay? They're going to see, okay? And so that's, those are the two things that Joseph had experienced. And for many of you guys who felt like a Joseph, many of you guys who have the anointing like Joseph, those are the two things that God is going to do for you. He is going to make you be fruitful. He's going to make you be fruitful in the same spaces and the same places that inflicted pain upon you and they will all have to see and they will all have to watch they will watch you win they will watch you be fruitful they will watch you prosper god keep giving me beauty in pain the beauty in pain beauty in pain that's going to be another message but all right so get ready get ready to forget <laughs> get ready to forget we serve a great, big, wonderful God who, who, who has the ability to remove trauma from our lives. We don't have to carry it. We don't have to carry it. God doesn't want us to carry it. Give him your burdens, all right? But 
get ready for those two things all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope this message was a blessing to you talk to you soon